At the Capitol, a recent proposal from Governor Hochul looking to speed up the closure of up to five state prisons. The question now is which ones? Our Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine telling us more about the governor's plan and what pushback it's getting. The governor has proposed advancing legislation to close up to five prisons following 90 days notice to make the correctional system more efficient. Assembly Republicans say if closures happen, it will negatively impact employees and their families. 90 days to uproot your family, to find a new home and new schools for your kids, that is unacceptable. That's a big challenge and harmful and an insult to these brave men and women who work his dangerous job to keep us safe. The Department of Corrections and Supervision, known as DOCS, says the facilities have not yet been identified. According to information sent to me by the department, since 1999, New York's prison population has decreased by 54.9%. And since 2011, more than 13,000 prison beds have been eliminated and a total of 24 correctional facilities closed due to excess bed capacity. On the flip side, the state is saving approximately $442 million per year. Randy D'Antonio, vice president of New York State Public Employees Federation, says fast tracking closures hurts not only staff, but the incarcerated population. Docs testified just days ago that the current staffing levels and the excess capacity are factors in proposing the closure of up to five prisons. Folks, staffing is a problem in every agency across the state, but instead of proposing closures, why don't we propose ways to bolster recruitment and retention? I'm told by docs that it has enough vacancies to absorb any staff impacted by closures and that no layoffs are anticipated. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. Well,